Dear students, dear students, you are familiar with some of the geometrical solid like cube, cuboid, cylinder, cone, frustum, sphere, hemisphere, etc. You also have learnt the surface and volumes of the given solids. Dear students, you are familiar with the sum of the solids like cube, cuboid, cylinder, cone, frustum, sphere, hemisphere, etc. You have also learned how to find the surface area and volumes of these solids. Dear students, in our day to day life, we come across with the sum of the solids. They are the combination of two or more such solids. Example, See here that the container that is fitted to the truck that helps to carry oil milk container that is made of the combination of a cylinder and two hemispherical ends. Similarly, another one tie. It is also one of the combination of solids. It is made up of a cone is mounted on the hemisphere. Student, now we are to see combination of solids and how to find the surface area and volumes of this combination of solids. First, let us take a container. The container is made up of a cylinder that is fitted by two hemispherical ends. The surface area of this container is equal to curved surface area of the cylinder plus CSA of one hemisphere plus CSA of the another hemisphere. Similarly, total surface area of the type equal to curved surface area of the core plus curved surface area of the hemisphere. Combination of the solids. Now, TSA of A container equal to when we consider the first figure that is the container CSA of container equal to see here the container is made up of one cylinder it fitted with two hemispherical ends so TSA of cylinder equal to curved surface area of a cylinder Plus, it is fitted with the two hemispherical end, both are also identical because radius of the cylinder equal to radius of both the hemispheres. So, 2 into CSA of hemisphere. Similarly, consider the second figure that is the tie, tie made of a cone is mounted on the hemisphere. So, TSA of a tie equal to CSA of a cone plus CSA of a hemisphere. Because when we join the one solid to another solids, the face are fitted to another. So the cylinder is open-ended cylinders. Both the hemisphere also open-ended hemisphere. So we consider CSC of the cylinder because ends are open. Similarly, in the tie also, the cone is open-ended and the hemisphere also open ended hemisphere, so we consider CSA of a tie and CSA of the hemisphere. Now we will see the formula to find surface area and volumes of the sum of the solids. 
now first one q we know that the cube having all the identical faces we know that the each face of the cube is yes wave First one is the cube. We know that the cube having six faces, all the six faces are identical. Each face is square in shape. Let the each side of the square is a unit. Then this is also a. A length is a unit. Breadth is a unit. Height also a unit. See here. See here. This is the cube. The cube having one, two, three, four, five, six. The six out of six faces. One, two, three, four. The four faces are called lateral surface of the cube. That is the top end. That is bottom end. The lateral surface area of the cube depends on only lateral surface. Total surface area of the cube depends on lateral surface area of the cube plus top end and bottom end. See here, E and P A units, then length is A unit, breadth is A unit, height also A units. We know that area of the E face equal to side into side, side into side equal to side square. If each side be a unit, then a to a equal to a square. Now, let each side of the cube be a unit, then lateral surface area equal to there are four lateral surface one two three one more back side total four four into a square equal to four a square the area is the two dimensional so square units now t s a of a square equal to Lateral surface area of the cube plus top and bottom end total six space. So six is square square units. Now volume of the cube equal to the volume depends upon length, breadth, and height. Then length is a unit, breadth is a unit, height also a unit. So a into a into a equal to a cube. Cubic units. Now let us start second figure cuboid. The cuboid is rectangular shape. So first draw a rectangle. We know that opposite side of the rectangle are equal. Now, draw the same height. Same 
say when we consider the cuboid the cuboid having six faces where the opposite faces are identical that is the top face bottom end that is the first face that is opposite face second face that is the opposite face the opposite faces of the cuboid are identical see here let us consider that is the length length n that is breadth denoted by b that is height denoted by h now lateral surface area of the cuboid is equal to the cuboid having only four lateral surface one two three four both opposite faces are identical another set of opposite faces is also identical so 2 into see here first face length into height here the one breadth into height equal to 2 into in the first one height is common second also height is common so 2 into n plus b into h square units now total surface area of a cuboid is equal to see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 see here total surface area is equal to we know that opposite faces are identical so length into breadth that is the bend plus breadth into height plus length into height r which is the n square units now one more cuboid is equal to length into breadth into height cubic units see here this is now the third one is cylinder see here this is the shape of the cylinder the cylinder having curved surface with two identical ends the sum of the sides having both the ends are open that is called open cylinder or hollow cylinder the sum of the cylinder having either ends are closed that is called now third one cylinder see here this is one of the cylinder it has the curved surface and two identical ends the both the ends are equal so see here that is called height of the cylinder that is circumference of the cylinder then it is the radius of the cylinder see here the sum of the cylinder having both the ends are open that is called hollow cylinder but sum of the cylinder having both the ends are closed that is called right circular cylinder or closed cylinder now see here it is one of the cylindrical figure or right circular cylinder the cylinder is one of the solid obtained by revolution of the right angle about one of its side remains fixed the fixed side is the height of the cylinder another one side is the radius of the cylinder see here when we consider it is one of the rectangle the rectangle is revolved once round its one of its base then it gives a solid that is called cylinder we know that that the base radius that the height first consider curved surface area of a cylinder 
if the face is lateral that is lateral surface area if the face is curved surface then we consider curved surface area of the cylinder curved, sur curved surface area of a cylinder csa equal to the curved surface area of a cylinder depends on perimeter of the base and height of the cylinder so perimeter is 2 pi r height is h so 2 pi r h square units the total surface area of a cylinder equal to curved surface area of the cylinder plus area of the two circular ends that is 2 pi r h plus area of the two circular ends that is equal to 2 pi r and 2 pi r comma into h plus r square units now volume of the cylinder equal to pi r square h volume of the cylinder depends on area of the one base and height of the cylinder if the area of the base increases then volume it increases similarly height of the cylinder it increases volume also increases volume equal to pi r square h cubic units now now cone see cone is a geometrical solid obtained by revolution of the right angle triangle above one of its side containing a right angle is remain fixed here a, O, P is a right angle triangle, angle at O equal to 90 degree, then A, O is the fixed side that becomes the height, O, B is the another side containing the right angle that is radius, A, B is the hypotenuse that is slab height. Now, curved surface area of the cone that it depends on slab height of the cone and radius of the base. So, C, S is equal to pi r l square units because we know that area of the triangle equal to half into base into height but half into base of the cone is 2 pi r into height of the cone becomes slab height 2 into cancer we get pi r l that is the curved surface area of the core. Now, total surface area of the core also depends on slant height of the core. TSA of the core equal to curved surface area of the core plus area of the base. CSA of the core is pi r l plus area of the base is pi r square when we take out pi r is common we get pi r into l plus r square units now volume of the cone equal to 1 by 3 times of the volume of the cylinder we know that volume of the cylinder is pi r square h so volume of the cone equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h cubic units now take the fifth one first term first term of a cone is the a cone is uh, the top end of the core is removed by a plane through the base parallel to its base and when its top end is removed the remaining part of the cone is called frustum of a cone the frustum of a cone having only two ends both are non-identical r1 is the radius of the bottom end r2 is the radius of the top end h is the height of the frustum l is the slanted of the 
plus two. Now, convert surface area of the first one equal to pi into there are two end so half one is the radius of the one end r two is the radius of the other end that is pi into r one plus r two into l square units second total surface area of the first one equal to pi r one square area of the bottom end plus area of the top end is pi r two square plus curved surface area of the first one is pi into r one plus r two into l square units. Now volume of the first one equal to one by three pi h into r one square plus r two square plus r one into r two cubic units. Now taking the next solid. See here, it is the sphere. See here. That is the center of the sphere. Radius of the sphere. See here. See here. It is one of the sphere. See. That is one of the examples for the sphere. Examples for the sphere are marbles, shot put, etc. See here. When we consider a sphere, that has one of the Center. See here, the sphere is one of the solid obtained by revolution of the semicircle about its diameter is constant. See here, that is the radius of the sphere. When we consider any sphere, the curved surface area of the sphere is equal to total surface area of the sphere. Both are also equal, but there is no changes. But In the remaining side, curved surface area of the solid is also different from total surface area of the solid. See here. First consider surface area of sphere equal to four times of the area of the circle. So four pi r square square units volume of the P is equal to four by three pi r cube cubic unit because one sphere is divided into four core. The volume of the core is equal to one by three pi r square h. But in any sphere, the height is equal to the radius. So Pi r square h r square into r equal to r cube. Now last one, hemisphere. When the sphere is cut into two halves, each half is a hemisphere. Now see here. See here. 
there are two types of hemisphere one sonic hemisphere another one is open ended hemisphere see here the area of curved surface area of the hemisphere that is 2 pi r square plus base is circular in shape that's why it is pi r square the total surface area of the hemisphere is equal to 2 pi r square plus 1 pi r square is equal to 3 pi r square see here when we consider one of the hemisphere See here. That is the radius. C S C of the hemisphere equal to half of the area of the hemisphere. That is two pi r square square units. T S C of hemisphere equal to curved surface area of the hemisphere plus area of the n. That is two pi r square plus pi r square equal to three pi r square square units. That's right. You want to know class three is the first half of the day. Next day, video will be. This is a continuation part of the start part of the day. नहीं नम चल सब्सक्रैबी शेर मत लाइक लाइक शेर एंड कमेंट थैंक यू